So today I'm showing you guys a series of workouts I did on the Smith machine. I'm starting off by putting some weights on the side. You guys can put whatever weight you recommend for yourself onto there. It doesn't have to be the exact same as mine. But I'm starting off with some abs and arms combined. So I'm going to start with my arms up and my legs up. And I'm going to go down as my legs go down and go up as my legs go up. What I'm working right now is my chest muscles, my arm muscles, my ab muscles, and slightly my leg muscles. Next, I did some assisted pull-ups, which are working my arm muscles. I pulled the chair in as close as needed to be for my height. I pulled it to where I'm not directly under the bar, but slightly away a little bit. I'm placing my feet on the chair and I'm pulling my body up and going back down. The third workout I'm doing here is working my gluteus maximus, everyone's favorite friend. Here I am doing some squats. I'm going in and out, going into sumo squats and back with my legs together and together squats. I don't know what you would call these, but I'm going back and forth over and over. Doing this, I am not only working my butt muscles, but I am also working my leg muscles. Here I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite workout of all time. They are actually butt up. I'm putting my feet where my neck will usually go for squats and I'm doing butt ups, pushing the bar up and slightly coming back down, not touching the floor but slightly gracing the floor. What I'm working right now are my abdomen muscles. You will feel it a little bit in your legs because you are lifting a heavy bar, but this is primarily working your lower abs. again which is everyone's favorite thing like I said so here I'm placing one foot on the bar I'm putting one foot on the ground and I'm doing like a half butt up half hip thrust thing I think they're called hip thrusts but this you're gonna be lifting up and down like a butt up and slightly gracing the floor as well like a butt up you're gonna be feeling this in your legs and your butt the most these are literally a burner you will feel it everywhere. Okay, now so we're gonna be doing some arms again. Here I'm pulling my seat in, I'm putting my hands on the bar, and I'm just gonna be doing some assisted push-ups. So these are sort of hard because you are not on a flat surface while doing these push-ups. Your arms are on a bar, so you're gonna feel it a lot in your back. As you can see, I'm getting really tired. But these are great for arms, chest, and back as well. Okay, so now, before you guys already guessed, we're doing another butt workout. You guys probably already know these are my favorite things by this video. Please excuse me for being weird, but we're doing hip thrusts. I'm adjusting my seat to my liking because it can get a little difficult how I'm sitting. As you can see, I'm stuck and it was not comfortable for me. So a key for this would be to make sure that you test out how close you are to the seat. My booty just can't be contained. Just can't be contained. So basically, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are far enough from the bar to where you can thrust up without getting 
stuck. But as I get into the bar, I'm going up and down like the hip thrust. And for this, you can adjust the weight to your liking as well. And here I go back again with another butt workout. So for this one, I'm just pulling the seat in a lot right up underneath the bar. I'm putting one foot on the seat and the other on the ground and I'm going over side to side back and forth a bunch of times. <laughs> you can adjust the weight for this as well. It doesn't need to be too heavy of a weight. It just has to be enough to where you can get over to the other side. This is a high intensity cardio based workout so you want to make sure you're not doing too much weight. Here I'm doing another arm and back face workout and I'm using the weight to pull in front of me and behind me. Front and back counts as one and I'm just using my arm and back muscles to lift the weight up over and over again. You're going to feel it all in your arms. This is a very hard one if you use a lot of weight on it and you will definitely feel the burn. Lastly, to end this full body workout, I am doing abs. And basically what I'm doing is using the seat as a base and using the bar to put my feet over and under it. I'm keeping my legs elevated, which is gonna help use all of your abs. And the leg movements are gonna help with your lower abs the most, as well as your legs. All three of these movements count as one, and I'm just going over and over again until I hit the end of the rep. that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it hit the like button and subscribe to see more workout videos coming for you thank you okay, that was are you tired i'm tired <laughs>